How y'all doing today? All right, let's be honest. We all live, we as Americans, we, we live an easy life. We have electric screwdrivers, dishwashers, uh, bread machines, uh, electric pencil sharpeners, etc. Like everything, we have objects that does literally everything for us. Uh, we live in a life of time saving, energy saving, and a convenient society. Being American is a wonderful life, or is it? Today's luxuries has been welcomed by the masses, and also, but they have also uh, made us into passive and lazy people. Sometimes, a lazy person myself, very rarely, but sometimes, I know how easy it is to fall into an inactive slump. Today, I want to urge all of us to stop being active and start doing something as simple as walking. Uh, America, like I said, Americans live a laid-back lifestyle, but at the expense of their own health. Like today, adults watch between 15 and 18 hours a week of just pointless television shows about anything, just anything we can find, just lay our eyes on. And that's, this means that 40% of our leisure time you know, we spend in front of the TV. In an article done by The Walking Magazine in 1994 reports that Americans' laid-back lifestyle are bad to our mental and emotional state of mind. <clears throat> that same mag in that same magazine, studies indicate that people nowadays are experiencing higher bouts of depression than in the 18th and 19th century, where it's going People had to do everything by hand. People build stuff with just regular nails and hammers, whereas though we have machines, big uh, trucks and all that to do everything for us. People was actually, 18th century people were actually, like, I was watching something, like, uh, it was this Chinese man, he actually was strapping wood to his back. He was building a house, he was strapping wood to his back and walking up a ramp. And matter of fact, it was, it was like a wooden crate and it had bricks in it. He was like walking up a ramp, it was like two of them, they really, had to walk these bricks up a ramp just to build the roof of a house. Whereas though we have big, like I said, trucks that just do everything for us. And for us to have more depression and stress than they did, uh, something's wrong. 12.6% uh, uh, of Americans suffer from anxiety, and another 9.5% suffer from surge depression. And we all know how uh, bad just uh, Americans, like how we treat ourselves, we all know how bad our eating. Is, but this combined with the depression and lack of exercise is reported to be the second leading non-genetic contributor to death in the U.S. Nutritionist Phyllis Hall stated that we have to, that we all tend to eat foods that are high protein, high in fat, which produce high levels of cholesterol in our blood, which turns people, which turns to plaque in our arteries. And while we can modify our diets, we can stop cutting TV off is no replacement for exercise. And I understand everyone don't want to, like myself, I run about three miles every day. Everybody don't want to run. Everybody don't want to lift weights. Everybody don't want to uh, do sit-ups. That's not for everybody, but we all can just do something as simple as just walking. We can walk to convenience stores. We drive to convenience stores. That's a block down the street from my house. We drive, like me, I'd rather drive to school than walk up. I actually just spent my whole refund check and my savings on a car where I live a block down the street <laughs> and I don't do nothing in California anyway, but that's kind of crazy. Uh, and actually walking helps our mental and physical health. And that always help. And you don't have to walk for a long distance of time. Walking for one to five minutes, heart, your heart rate increases from 70 to 100 beats per minute. Uh, it, bo it boosts your blood flow, increases oxygen flow to your brain and other organs. It warms up muscle, which burns approximately five calories per minute, and it, re it releases a lubricating fluid that allows us to move eat more easily. Walking for six to 10 minutes, heart rate increases from 100 to approximately 140 beats per minute. Uh, still rising in blood pressure uh, releases of good chemicals that expand blood vessels, even more oxygen uh, goes to your brain and muscles. And it also warms up muscle that burn approximately six calories per minute. Walking for 11 to 20 minutes. Body temperature counts rise. Bodies begin to perspire, releasing heat in from blood vessels near the skin. And it warms up blood from approximately seven, uh, seven calories per minute. 
walking, at walking for just 21 to 40 minutes. Body re uh, relaxes and tensions and toxins are released from your body. And more fat burns and insulin levels drop. Uh, like, like I just said, 40 minutes of walking, like just you just recognize how much have you losing weight and you just getting healthier just walking for 40 minutes. We can visualize the benefits of walking by contrasting the lifestyles we have now. Um, we choose now. Finding the close, we find the closest parking spots. Like I know myself, when I go to the store, I find the closest spot to the door I can find. I will leave, literally leave about 50 spots open and park next to like five cars all packed in, just so I don't have to walk an extra minute to get to the door. Uh, we drive, like I said, we drive every place we go. Uh, like when I went to Cincinnati University, I caught buses like across the campus, which is probably about a 10 minute walk. I caught a bus, a little shuttle from this class to that class, that class to this class, to the field, to the cafeteria, everything I did, I caught buses when I could have just walked. And even like now, we can telephone a friend that lives a block down the street. Instead of going down there and talk to him, we'll call him on the phone just to talk about the nothing we won't talk about anyway. Uh, or we can choose to lessen our risk of bodily issues, improve healthy, and improve our health by just walking. Walking will enable you to stumble into and no, sorry. Walking also enables you to stumble into the little things in life that we often miss while we're driving. You ever notice while you're driving, you try to look out the window and all you see is just like blurs of everything, just everything where you walk the best. I know us guys in here, how many times have you been driving and you see like a girl that'd probably be your future wife? <laughs> <laughs> and you just, if you can't even stop to say anything to her, because you stop, you probably get uh, uh, rear end, you probably cause an accident. But if you're walking, you probably had a wife. <laughs> John P. Wiley says, being on your uh, being on your own two feet is is restful. No one is climbing on your back, leaning on the horn, and something catches your eye. You can also stop without being rear-ended. Uh, if you if health problems does exist, and no matter how much we exercise, eat right, anything we do, health problems always is going to exist. But if you have health problems, walking helps. Cardiovascular problems. Uh, Walking lowers blood pressures and reduces blood cholesterol. Osteoporosis. Uh, strengthens bone, uh, walking strengthens your bone mass and helps stop risk in fat, uh, helps your bones heal faster, which stops fractures. Diabetes, lowers blood sugars and lowers your uh, insulin levels. So just walking help you out if you sit. Uh, you actually just feel better. You're more energetic and less uh, erotic, uh, improves self-image, improves your confidence, reduces fatigue, relieves bad stresses and blood levels, and improves uh, sleep patterns. Just walk like you. Sometimes I lay there and I can't go to sleep at night, and now I do it. Like if I get up and just walk around the neighborhood, walk around the block twice, or just jog, I uh, come in the house, take a shower, and I sleep better than ever. And you actually look better. Like who wants to be all uh, big and sloppy when they get older? So you just start walking a little bit now. Uh, you, you, it helps your muscles, it burns calories, and it helps control your appetite. So you start eating more. In closing, I urge us to start walking more. A simple, easy activity. Park, park in the back of the parking lot and walk. Uh, walk, don't drive to local stores. Walk past bus stops and let your two feet carry you across campus. Take 20 minutes to enjoy your walk around your neighborhood, hide your TV remote, get off Instagram, stay off the phone, Celine, and um, <laughs> just, you know, just start walking. But like I said, all I'm asking you to do is like save your own life. Thank you. I'm sorry for keep stuttering. I got like a fractured rib, so I'm breathing a little bad. Right? I didn't notice a stutter. You know, I noticed the, the uh, pacing. Really. Yeah, you're you're doing your walking. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you probably got in a half mile while you were giving the speech there. That's a good ten minutes. There. <laughs> Did 
Jason here? You. Huh. All right, well, I guess we'll skip that. Um, let's see, who's... I've got a sneeze there. It's waiting to come out. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna. It's not cooperating with me. All right. I like the visualization at the beginning. I think that's pretty effective. Uh, you identify the topic early on. I do think that because you kind of start getting into some of the reasons and the background stuff uh, early on, that I think it's it's not quite clear that walking is in fact the subject, even though you said it early on in the presentation. Uh, I think you need to kind of emphasize that a little bit more. In the rest of the speech, uh, especially the last third of the speech, it's very clear that that's what you're talking about. Um, the need for exercise and activity, I think you do a pretty good job on that. I, you might want to be careful about uh, tarnishing too much of people's leisure activities and suggesting that they're wasting their time. You know, spending all that time, for instance, on Saturdays and Sundays in front of the television watching those stupid games that just suck up all of our energy you know, and take away from our ability to exercise. Yeah. I could see that, that you know, people go, oh, wait a second. You know, but the idea that we don't do as much as we ought to do, I think you do a nice job kind of explaining that. I, I got that visualization. I always think about those kinds of things. When I look at technology, I used the electric screwdriver the other night, for instance, and I'm going, just what a lazy bum I am, because, you know, <laughs> can you, you know, people like uh, uh, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, they built stuff themselves, you know, they built furniture and they did all that kind of stuff with tools that are so primitive compared to what we have now, and they did a beautiful job. I mean, if you see some of those things, you just go, uh, you know, we're just slugs by comparison, you know, that kind of thing. We depend on stuff being manufactured for us. And I, and I kind of appreciate that, that we, we need to be more active in doing those kinds of things. So I like that visualization that you're coming up with there, but you be, want to be careful about dismissing everything that people do, because then they're going to kind of tune out and become defensive. The one way that you solve that, I think, and you try to address it, is by acknowledging that you yourself do some of those kinds of things. Look, I always look for the closest spot in the parking lot. You know, I catch myself, you know, driving down to the convenience store too. And here I am in California, which I don't like, and I don't go anywhere, but I'm still getting a car. You know, I don't know exactly why, but you know. And when I was in Cincinnati, I got on the tram to go everywhere on campus. You know, a campus that you could walk across in 10 minutes by yourself, and there I am getting on the tram just to make it easy for myself. We need to be doing those kinds of things. So I, I like the fact that you use yourself. It builds a little credibility and ethos for you, but it also kind of lessens the blow that you're just giving everybody a hard time about being a bum. You're saying, we all do these kinds of things, and I think that that helps. Um, at the end, when you're given the information about how, much, how long it takes for walking to have some effect on people, those kinds of stuff, I think that's pretty good. Although, I'm never going to get, you know, I'm not parking 10 minutes away from the store. You know, there's a, you know so when you say you don't, park, you don't have to park, park on the other side of the parking lot, that's not a bad piece of advice, but how much is that going to get me? When I go back to looking at the stuff that you talked about, it takes, you know, three minutes of walking to get to a particular effect. Well, I'm not going to be walking for three minutes. It's, you know, a minute to walk across the parking lot, that kind of stuff. So you need to kind of, you know, there's nothing bad about those kinds of things, but let's talk about how can we get to the kind of walking that you're talking about that's going to produce the uh, heart level that we need or it's going to reduce the number of calories that we're, uh, or increase the number of calories that we're burning, that kind of thing. What kinds of things do we need to do in addition to just like you said, parking on the opposite side of the parking lot or you know, those kinds of things, getting off the phone. I appreciated that line, by the way. <laughs> uh, the, the delivery things, you know what? When you, when you talk to us, I think you do a good job. You, you've got that notepad in your hand, though, and it looks a little bit like you're some reporter from the 1930s. <laughs> All right, you know, what happened here? With the, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. Let me flip the page on that, you know, the next thing you're talking about. So it looks a little awkward that you're doing that. I think I know that you were trying to adapt from not having a script, and you wanted to make sure that you had something that you could hold in your hand, and that was okay, but it, it just it seems a little awkward, you know, and you'd be better off... 
you know, practicing more, getting it all in your head, and not needing anything in your hands, I think you'd do a much better job. You, you did a, a solid job as it was. Okay, thank you.